Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And before we get in the video, here's a few reminders. Make sure you check the description below to get all the great news and latest on everything that I've used to talk about on my YouTube channel and what I currently talk about on my YouTube channel. Also, go click the channel below and subscribe to them. They are amazing and um, they are so close to 500 subscribers. Thank you and let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to the Book of Matthew. I just grinded out videos for my study series. I did an update on how I keep everything scheduled. Now I'm just going through and filming a few more episodes in Matthew to keep my flow growing, going. Um, so yeah, so we're in chapter nine. Um, it's a pretty standard chapter. Um, I didn't really get a lot out of it, but it was a good chapter. I'm not gonna lie. But I think the most important thing that stuck out to me and pretty much most readers, I feel like, is Jesus returned to his own cities. He tells the people, your sins are forgiven. Those are the four main words that, to me, really impacted my life and made me want to continue reading and devoting to Christ when I heard, read, when I read that Jesus told people, your sins are forgiven. That gave me hope because before I was a Christian I was a major sinner and I didn't know how bad my sins were until I started reading the Bible and studying it and I one day literally cried out to God and I said Lord forgive me of all my sins from the ages of like 0 to 15 because I became a Christian at 15 years old and I'm like please forgive me of it and I still, I feel like I need to still do that because I want to be heard and all of that. He also says, I come for the sinners, not the people who were saved. Jesus' mission isn't to save the people that are saved, it's to save the sinners because if you're not saved, you are 100% doomed to hell, which you do not want to go there because it is not a pretty place. It's very hard and reading about it and learning about it at school and all of that it's just i want to be going to heaven like if i did not come to christ i would probably end up hell and burned to death and i'm still afraid of that and there are some points where i'm like yeah hell's not real it's just heaven but i have to remind myself hell is real so yeah 